That's what we're talking about here. Who to vote for? Don't go and vote because they're giving you a bag of rice. <laughs> you know, you don't mortgage, mortgage your future and then you suffer for the next four, eight years. Yes, sir. You know. You should, you should ask yourself, that bag of rice, if it did not come to you, will you not, will you, will you die? Have you not been surviving uh, before? How you take the chop before they bring that bag of rice come? So don't let anybody give you a bag of rice for one bag of rice for four years. Don't even collect anything at all. Because, you know, sometimes people say, hey, we'll collect, I will still vote. No, it's better, better <laughs> to just to collect. chase yeah, them away. Yeah. Let them know that this time around, things are different. It's not necessarily different. Yeah, and you too, you feel happy with yourself. For, for a, a lot of times that I turn down incentives, I feel very good about it. Hmm. Because I, I know, I know that I'm doing what is right. For people to come and be saying, oh, take this, take this, because so that you will not say this, or so that you will say that. Mm -hmm. and then that means uh, they believe yeah, that right. you, your head is correct, and they know that you want to use your you head. You are doing well. So please, <laughs> so please, everybody, use that your head, so that you will know that you are doing this for yourself, you are doing it for your future, and you are doing it for your unborn children. Now on the way. It's very important. We have, we are, we have everything. Absolutely. We have everything. We sh you should not be surviving. That car that you are looking at, uh, God, wait. You should be able to own your own car, too. You should be able to find a decent job and earn well. Live comfortably. You should not be suffering because you are in a, a country where there is a lot. There are vast opportunities. Only if the opportunities have not been snatched away. Hmm. Only if there is a level playing ground. I say... Oh, the, the average Nigerian is as if you are in a race. But some people are already on, um, on, on skate, skateboard. So them, they are already going. Some people have shoes. Whereas you, it's just your bare, you're, you're barefooted. So you cannot even, when they, by the time they, they um, shoot the gun, before they even shoot the gun, some people have gone. Hmm. Oh, yes. Hmm. Because the system has been rigged. That way, everything is, is kona kona, is mango mango. We need to get to the point where in Nigeria, you are getting contract. There's nothing stopping the average Nigerian youth from getting that multi-million naira deal from government. Absolutely. Because they are qualified, Absolutely. not because a government official wants to put their own court and collect for a job that even when they steal, when they embezzle the money, they will not still do the job. Hmm. And, I, and, and there's something I always tell people that there are only two ways to change the government in a country. Yes. It's either by force, which is military force, mm. coup, or whatever it is, or by election. Yes. Now, we're not, we don't want to go to that force. We have, yeah. we have been there before, yes. and it, it, well, the only way we have is election. Now, that election won't use. That's the only way to now that election won't change. Use. And it starts with you. It starts, it starts with you. You need to believe that you can be a part of that change. It, it, is, it is our duty, it is our duty. to the nation. Yes. It's our duty. It and is, not just it the is important. It is, it, it's just like, it's just when people say, I say, for, for instance, if you do a business, you apply for one business today, it doesn't come, apply tomorrow, it doesn't come. You see, you, you don't stop applying. You don't stop. Yes, you no. keep pushing yes. it. You keep, that's, yes. that's the nature that we should have yes. about the election. And, and I want to also say something about, by September 28th, um, we will open up campaigns. Mm -hmm. And then open up campaigns mm -hmm. for a party to come and campaign. And you will see different kind of things. Absolutely. You see different documents, information, Absolutely. statistics, Absolutely. data. Absolutely. Everyone, they go and verify it. Go and do this and that. Absolutely. Please and please make sure that you fact check these things. Yes. Don't be bamboozled by numbers, yes. by data here and there, yes. by figures. They just throw in the air yes. to just, you know, just, just to yes. cajole you into voting for it them. It is even simple. Come election day or build up to election. All you need to do is look at all the candidates that have said they want to, they, they want the honor of serving you. Mm. Look at all of them. Ask yourself, which one of these people will I put in charge of my business? Vote for that person. Simple as that. Yeah. Simple as you could not have been better said. Yeah. Is, 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 Nigeria is our business. Yeah. Yeah, that's our yes. Nigeria is our yes, business. Absolutely. So and if think you don't have a business, company. think I'll think about oh, someone that uh, you are working with. You should think about a leader. Not a, 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 a dictator, not a tyrant, a leader. Someone that is going to serve you. A leader must first be a servant. Mm. 
You must first be a servant. You must serve your people. You must serve your people. It's not for fancy. It's not for you to be driving five, five cars up and down and have the entire security team following you Absolutely. when your own people are dying from insecurity. Mm. You know? So, right now, we need a leader who is ready, who is prepared to serve us wholeheartedly. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry, Twitter space is there uh, some the same a bit of a glitch right there now. We can't take some of your of, um, your hands raised yet, uh, but we're working on it and we'll resolved very, very shortly. Uh, but, but but I also need to mention that you see, politics governs every aspect of our lives. Whether whether you're selling corn on the road, whether you're you're a tech person, tomorrow they can say you shut down Twitter. What do you do about it? Mm -hmm. You know. Hello? Hello, good evening. Okay, we lost that call. You know, politics governs every aspect of our lives. Whether, whether you're a Christian, Muslim, tribalist, whatever it is you do, whatever job you do, the government says don't do this, that's the end of your business. The government says you have a lockdown, that's the end. The government says go to Lekki Toll and Wele protesters, that's the end. So it, it is very important and essential that we understand the nitty gritty of what we are doing here today. To, to, to tell you about the importance of election 2023. It is the cornerstone of our existence right now in this country. And, and this country right now stands on a very, very thin thread. Very, very thin thread. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello? Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, please. What's the name, sir? Hello. Good evening, sir. What's the name, please? What is it? What's the name, please, sir? What's the name? What's your name, sir? Hello, sir? OK, we, we, we lost our call. Lost our call. But I'm, I'm glad that Nigerians um, are calling in, on, even on Twitter and all, because it shows that there's a very keen interest. Yes, now. Everyone so is they're, they're, they're ready. All hands seem to be on deck. The people are ready. The people are ready. We just need to, to, to keep the fire burning. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, please. What's your name, sir? All right. Um, um, I think something was wrong with the network. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, Mr. Sonny. Yes, Mr. Sonny, good evening. Hello, Mr. Sonny. Mr. Sonny, yes. Yeah? Please I go ahead, to, sir. I want to contribute for on this uh, program about politics. We will talk about politics today. I mean, it's PVC loud, yeah. sir. PVC loud. Yeah. Your people okay. must speak for you. See, uh, what I'm saying is, is that the red shoulders that on that, that, that yeah, the red shoulders, the labor, those that that on strike, loud it. Those that on strike now. Today, don't loud it, sir. Now, huh? Don't they have their own problems. They, the red shoulders that on strike, they are our problem in this country. When elections start. When elections start now, they are the people that they will make uh, returning officers. Mm. And those returning officers, better, they will rig election. Mm. They will pay them, give them money. They will give them money to rig election. Huh? That, they are our problem in this country. So whatever they are facing today, let them face it. Because they rig the present government to power. So if they, they may it, the other go, the one to come to power. I want Nigerians to know, open their eyes, for these evil and wicked racialists that they make our like, electoral officer that rig election for, they are the one leaking our elections. So whatever they're facing today is they are, let them face it. They are our problem. They are our major problem in this country. Hello? Yes, I'm with you, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Hello? I can hear you very clear, sir. 
Yes. So what I'm saying is that this uh, uh, INEC officers, INEC officers, which are our red shoulders, All they right, sir. are the wicked, evil, that yeah, they, are, they, they are destroying Nigeria. I'm sure they can hear you, sir. They are the people that are destroying Nigeria. So are we, they are, they are, they are, sure they are looking for a different way to organize them. Is... Yeah, yeah but care. it's far fetched. It is because uh, how many, how many? We uh, bear the brunt of this. Yeah. Track. Apart from that, how many? How many electorals did they use for? How many? I think. They are even vice chancellors mm. to begin with that are being used. But, most, but, but, but what's that, your opinion on whether the election will be rigged or not? Uh, <laughs> well, at least one thing you can take, um, you can comment the. The government okay. for the president for was signing that electoral bill, mm. you know, because mm. it has made more difficult, more difficult. Absolutely, now. absolutely. So and especially because look at you take for, um, for example what happened at the Oshun Pool. Absolutely, you know, and people were there. There was even a video that went viral, and the um, officers there were saying they don't have network, and people say we oh, got see your spots for yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 no yeah, 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 no, we not, or play this thing, make it, a, you know, so people know that now they can monitor their votes, they stand by that vote until it's counted. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important. Just to go back to um, um, what the caller said, yeah, I, I, I don't think we can um, totally throw the blame uh, at lecturers. Yes, because the students right now, Nigerian students are the ones suffering for this. Suffer for but it. at the same time, the lecturers still have their concerns. The uh, ASU themselves have their concerns. Can they do better? Absolutely, yes. Mm. Can, should they be, I think they should be able to meet the government at the, at, at, at the point. Halfway. Yeah, meet them halfway and, you know, but of course, they too will do, I, I made the content, I think, um, about three days ago that I posted, and, I, and the students were challenging that lecturer, which was a character I played, Professor Hardlife, and they were saying, you, you don't love us. If you love us, you would have, you would have caught up the strike, mm. and you would have done something to too. Mm. I said, uh, then that professor was telling the students that you are thinking only about yourselves. What about mm. our own welfare? What about um, a better um, um, learning experience for you? Mm -hmm. Better um, appliances, equipment, you know? so it's, facilities. Is is um, the range is is, is wide? Mm. You know, you, but you would just expect that the government understands and prioritizes the fact that education is key for Nigerian youth. So you understand, because uh, we are saying that e e education is one of our major problems. If the youths are well educated, if Nigerian students are not out of school, things will be better. Hello, sorry, we have a call, please. Hello, good evening. Yeah, we can't hear you very clearly, please. Good evening. Good evening. Am I on to the live program? Hello, we can't seem to hear you. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me now? Good evening. We can hear you when it's a bit faint, but go ahead, please. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Please, go ahead. Hello, can you hear you very clear? <clears throat> All right, I think we lost that call. I think this person is calling back. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello? Okay, okay. I mean, just to also, Hello? on my own part, restore some faith in the electorate. Um, I, I also agree that. In fact, I, I believe that it becomes more difficult to, to rig election when there's a huge turnout. Absolutely. It is easier to rig election when, when people, people, people don't show, show up. up. Yeah. And, and that's why Osho was very, was a bit difficult as well. People yeah. showed out in Osho yeah. election. They came out in yeah. mass. So it becomes harder when everybody's there at different polling units recording it live. So, so there, there's, there's live results coming in. So it's the same energy. The it's the same energy. Nigerian youths are ready to come out. It is. Yes, and um, is. The, the, message, the message won't change. Come out, vote, exercise that right, and be a part of the system that ushers in a new dispensation for all Nigerians. So that, 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 that at least we, too, we can have a breath of fresh air and say, ah, let us even have a president that you know that will love us and that will care for us and you know about. Yeah, 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 yeah
<laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Macaroni, for a wonderful yeah. talk today. Thank We're you. very grateful to have you here with us on this show. Thank it was you fantastic. It was enlightening. Me. It was educating. Thank you. It was full of wisdom. Thank you. you know, and we look forward to having you here again Absolutely. sometime close to the election. Absolutely. So you can also remind yes. these guys, yes. you can't stop. They need the to know. The fire, continue. Nigeria youths, I beg you once mm. again, please don't let this fire die. We need to keep it alive mm. and we need to usher in credible leaders. Whether president, governor, local the government, government chairman, however it is, assembly. we must be a part of that system and we must be ready to hold our leaders accountable so that they know that if they do smell smell, after four years, we chase them if away. If they do they will see smell smell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, dear viewers. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Thank you very much, Mr. Macaroni. God bless you very much. You are doing well. And <laughs> the theme of today's show, Please do well. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Vote wisely.